Sailor Senshi, my name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, given that it is a Monday, I have another Mailbox Monday for you, and I have a slew of packages that came in this week, so I am super excited to break into these. So let's go ahead and break into them with the first two at the top. Ah, sweet. I love coupons. Thanks, Box Lunch. So this first item is from Box Lunch Gifts, which is a super cool, nerdy website for any of your geeky needs. And this is a very simple Luna tank. I like the simplicity of it. I like that the art on the front isn't overbearing or really loud. It's just simplistic. It's really pretty and it's classy. So I got a medium and this cost $28.90 before coupons. Of course, if you have any Box Lunch coupons, which come out all the time, then you probably won't be spending that much. But it looks very cute and it looks like it'll be rather flowy on me, which I'm okay with because it's summertime. So this one is from Forever 21 and it costs $15.90 as far as the tag is concerned. And this is a crop top, so chances are my beer gut will show. But it's a really cute crop top that includes all of the inner Sailor Sunshi along with uh, the Japanese words underneath them. This is a really cute top and it's also thicker than the Luna tank top that came from Box Lunch Gifts. I think that I will thoroughly enjoy wearing this top. It'll look great with some shorts and maybe those white tennis shoes from last week from Grace Gift. Very cute, I like it. So this next package has my address on the front of it in very loud and proud handwriting. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it this way. Yay! Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, so I have been waiting for this for a while. I backed their campaign online. They did a crowdfunding campaign, but this is from Dice Gimme. I think that's how you say it. And it's Sailor Moon Crystal Dice Challenge. So it's a dice board game that you can play. Apparently it's really fun, according to people that have been to conventions and have gotten to do some test plays with it. If you ordered this in advance, it also came with a couple of bonus items, including a Sailor Pluto play card. And I'm not sure if this is a bonus item, but it also came with this epically huge Sailor Moon poster and it's a, it's a really pretty poster. I'm totally gonna hang this like above my guest room's bed so that anybody that stays in the guest room just like has to stare at Sailor Moon stuff. Okay, on to this extremely skinny box, which is number three. I mean number four. Ooh, these are so gorgeous, yay. Okay, I am so excited about these as well. Uh, these are a series of pins which come from a creator named Magical Maidens. Obviously they aren't licensed with Sailor Moon, but these are gorgeous, gorgeous fan art designed by Magical Maidens. And they are made to look like stained glass windows with the silhouettes of the different characters from Sailor Moon. So I ended up getting each of the silhouette versions which include Endymion and Serenity, there's Luna and Artemis, Uranus and Neptune, and then Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask. And I also got the skin color variant of Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Moon. And to give you an idea of how freaking huge these pins are, here's one of them. Here's the Luna and Artemis one. They're gigantic. I don't know where I'm going to put these, but I'm so happy that I have them because they are beautiful. They were rather pricey as well. I believe like the A grade version of these pins was around 18 bucks each, but given the size of them and the quality and how beautiful they are, I can understand the pricing. And now for my Tokyo Otaku Mode package. So I have a link down below for my referral link for Tokyo Otaku Mode. So Tokyo Otaku Mode is one of those websites online that sells Japanese goods from the United States as well as from overseas. So in this case, this package came from Portland, Oregon, their warehouse there. However, I believe they have one in Japan too. And I know exactly what this item is. So these are from the Petite Chara line or Petite Chara line of Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon chibi characters, and they are so, so cute. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the previous lines of Petite Chara are very expensive now because they're so hard to find. However, sometimes they show up on Mandarake and you can buy them for a really good price, close to MSRP. I haven't seen them for MSRP, but generally pretty close. So I believe this box comes with a bunch of cute little blind packaging and each one is separate. However, you do, I think you're guaranteed to get all six of the different characters. These are the festival ones, I believe, or maybe they're the cherry blossom ones. 
Oh boy. <laughs> There's so many boxes. I guess I'll open up each of these separately. <laughs> oh, I don't want to ruin the box. Yeah, I know that I said I like to destroy my packaging, but the packaging that the Petite Chata have come in are so cute. Okay, so first we have Mercury. Next we have Jupiter. And then we have Sera Moon. Oh, she's so cute. And then we have Chibi Moon, Sera Mars. And last but not least, this one must be Jupiter. Oh, I mean Venus. Yeah, that's right. I already got a Jupiter. Okay, so since each of these are in separate packaging, it will take forever for me to rip them all out of the packaging and put them on their stands. But basically, petite shadows all come with their own separate stands and they all have a little hole in the back of their head. So you can stick them on the stands and then hopefully they don't fall or anything. I have a few in the back and in my experience, sometimes they're really hard to get onto the stands securely. However, these ones look so, so pretty. I really like the features that are included on these. You really have to look close at all the different features like the sailor venus has a really cute little artemis hairpin in her hair which is adorable and their hair looks very airbrushed which is really really pretty because it gives it some depth i'm definitely considering doing a full video just on the petite shadow sets that i have because i think it would be really fun to show you all of those up close and personal so let me know if you want to see that all right on to the last box which is from mandarake so this package came from fukuoka again mandarake has has a whole bunch of different stores across Japan. So you basically just choose a store, buy all the things, and then get it shipped to you. And that's what I tend to do every single month. I know exactly what I ordered. I am so excited about this package because I got a really good deal on each of these items. Yay! <gasps> They're so pretty! Okay, so as I mentioned on the previous box, the Petit Chara are very hard to find. Sometimes you can find them on Mandarake for a pretty decent price. In this case, I was able to find the Black Moon sisters, which specifically is the Ayakashi no Yonshimai sisters. Uh, these are the four that it comes with, as well as a Sailor Moon character too. There's some great art on the box of each of these sisters. I love Sailor Moon's expression. She looks so cute on these. So I'm definitely going to take these out of their box, but the box is just gorgeous. I really like the framing and the filigree on the front. It's very pretty art. The inside packaging does come with some nice foam to keep it covered and protected, and then each of the characters has their own little packaging too. So I'm gonna go ahead and store these for the moment and I will open them up later. Okay, and then we have Helios. So I believe that this was available through like 7-Eleven or something as like a lottery item, maybe. Maybe I'm completely incorrect, but it came with a bunch of other different collaboration items too. There was a blanket in this line, a bunch of acrylic stands in this line, as well as this really adorable Helios keychain. So I decided to get this because I just love Pegasus so much. He's so adorable and it's super, super soft and it comes with a nice little pink keychain so you can stick him on wherever you want to. I'll probably just hang him from my bookcase in the back. Obviously, I'm definitely ripping off this label. He's so soft and he's brand new. I'm so glad I found him from Mandarake. And it was a good price. And luckily this little Pegasus plushie has not gone up in price too much. So you can still find him for a reasonable price on eBay. As usual, I will be putting the prices below in case you're interested. And the last item for today is from the Q-Pot Cafe Sailor Moon collaboration. Of course it is. This is the second mug that I now own and it features Luna, Artemis, and Diana on the front of it. It's very cute because it looks like Artemis's tail turns into the cup holder for your fingers, which is adorable. It's a very, very small mug, so I think I will just simply use this as a display item, maybe to stick little keychains in and stuff like that. On the front of it, you just have the three cats, and then if you turn it, you see all the different sailor symbols for the inner, oh, and the outer scouts, which is cool, and it says Q-Pot Cafe Sailor Moon. I really like the shiny gold tint to the type. On the bottom, it says Q-Pot Cafe made in Japan and it's a simple white mug on the inside. It is ceramic or maybe that's porcelain. I don't know the difference, but that does mean that it's going to be fragile. So don't drop this because it will fall on the floor and break. Luckily it's carpet in here. So if we have an earthquake, I'm not too worried. Okay. So that was everything from my mailbox Monday this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I surely did. I love all the different items that I got. Of course, if you want to see any of these items in more detail, definitely comment below. I would love to do a single video on just those products for you. And if there is anything specific that you would buy or not buy out of this selection of collectible items, definitely let me know what you would choose below too. Again, I'm Sailor Snubs. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Johnny.